Hey guys, Health Coach Aaron RN at Howard Health Quarters. Today, I am sitting with Dr. Sherry Brewer with the Honest Wellness Center. Dr. Sherry is someone who has mentored me, who I've studied under, and I have learned a tremendous amount about functional and integrative medicine and really has propelled me to be where I am today. So thank you, Sherry, for, for being with us. This You're is welcome. awesome. Thank you. So we're here at your clinic, the Honest Wellness Center. How long have you been here? I have been here about going on three years. Three years. Yeah. And how long have we known each other? We actually met back... Probably <laughs> five or six years, maybe. Right. Yoga. Yoga. So Dr. <laughs> Sherry does yoga, too. She's an advocate of yoga, and she's probably going to be at our August 5th event. So come see her down there. <laughs> but Dr. Sherry is an extraordinary... Uh, extraordinary uh, medical doctor. Um, I want you guys to know her background because it's very, very important, especially when we are talking about chronic disease. Because in America, and I think you may agree with me, Dr. Sherry, you know, we're very good with acute care. We are number one when it comes to acute care. But when it comes to chronic care and chronic disease, we are light years behind. And I think this is where, you know, you step into the forefront and, you know, really try to help people understand medicine on this level. So tell everybody a little bit about your background and, and, how, you're, and how you go about your practice here. So I'm, uh, my undergrad is in chemical engineering because I'm kind of a science geek. <laughs> um, and I spent five years working at Procter & Gamble on a little product called Olestra, which is a zero calorie fat. <laughs> and I've always been embarrassed to tell people I worked on such a thing since I do this natural health. Um, but recently learned that Olestra is being used by functional medicine practitioners hmm. to detoxify people from chemicals. Nice. So I was... All excited I worked yeah. on <laughs> um, and I did my undergrad I did my undergrad training at Ohio State I went to University of Kentucky for medical school and I've been practicing internal medicine for 20 years I can't wow. believe it uh, all of that at the VA um, and I always thought the way we treated people was a little crazy because mm -hmm. um, all we do is manage chronic disease we take symptoms, we label it with a diagnosis, and we give a drug for the symptoms. But mm -hmm. we don't ever try to figure out what's wrong with people. Right. And um, you know, at the VA, the, probably the biggest thing I see there, the most common thing is diabetes. Uh, and type two diabetes is a completely reversible disease. And I always knew that it was reversible, but that's not what we're taught in medical school. We're taught your blood sugar's high, this is, a, this is the pill you give for that blood mm -hmm. sugar. Uh, but we're, we're not taught anything about nutrition. None, zero. We get zero nutritional training in medical school. It's abhorrent. And uh, I was always interested in nutrition and knew that I could reverse diabetes and was always telling my patients not to eat bread, which is not <laughs> what our dietitians tell our diabetics. Sure. Um, so I picked up a book by Mark Hyman called The Blood Sugar Solution, and he was talking about functional medicine. And I'm a hardcore scientist, and functional medicine is based in biochemistry, and I knew I had to do it, and I've been in love since. And people started finding out about me and calling me at the VA, and I started seeing people in coffee shops, and they keep coming, and now I have a functional medicine practice. Awesome. So what is functional medicine? What, how would you explain that to our audience? So in conventional medicine, we really just manage, we just manage disease. Um, if you come in with a migraine, I'm going to give you a pill to stop your headache, but I'm not going to try to figure out why you have a headache. In functional medicine, we always try to get to the root cause. What is causing your illness? Why do you have autoimmune disease? Why do you have a thyroid problem? Why do you have a migraine? And we look at, um, we look at the whole patient. I mean, we take a history from birth because, you know, we know that the gut microbiome is very, very important, plays a huge role in disease and you develop your microbiome when you're born. Mm -hmm. So we take a whole history of the patient and we look at things like stress, infections, toxins. Um, we do a lot of stuff with diet um, and try to get to the root cause of the disorder. Sure, and I like that um, you reiterated diet because you know most dietitians, for example, if they have a diabetic patient, they're not necessarily trained to tell them what kind of diet they need to uh, inhabit. Well, and they they okay. can tell them about diet, but what they do is they, they have them count carbs, and they, right. they don't try to reverse the disease. They just manage it. So, exactly. I mean, 
some silly things I hear all the time. If a patient is trying to change their diet and their blood sugar is running low, the dietitian tells them to eat more food so they can take their medication, mm -hmm. which is absurd. Right. Like, lower the medication. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so backwards what we do. Right, right. So what kind of patients and clients do you see here typically at your clinic? Um, I see all kinds of patients. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trained in internal medicine, which is adult medicine, and that's mostly what I focus on, but um, I'm seeing a lot of pediatrics. Um, people are getting sicker at younger and younger ages. Mm -hmm. We can't handle all this disease, you know, all these toxins in our environment. Um, so I have parents begging me to see their children. Um, so I see kids who have autism and pandas, which is kind of an autoimmune neurological problem. Um, but I mostly do autoimmune. I do a lot of autoimmune disease. I see a lot of thyroid, lupus, lupus, multiple sclerosis, mm -hmm. um, you know, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, all those autoimmune disorders. There's over 200 autoimmune disorders. So, That's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and the number of patients <laughs> who have autoimmune disease is just growing. I mean, one in three people has, three women has Hashimoto's, an autoimmune thyroid disorder. That's really, one in three. That's wow. a lot. That is a lot. What do you think is the reason for that? Um, I mean, a big role, a big part of that is our diet. Um, mm -hmm. Autoimmune disease starts in the gut. Mm -hmm. um, we take way too many antibiotics. Uh, we spray our food with Roundup. Um, we put people on acid blocking drugs. I mean, that's like one of the number one selling drugs and right. we need acid to digest food. And, mm -hmm. um, if we don't digest food, then our immune system gets confused and sees proteins it's not supposed to be seen. Um, so it's, you know, stress, we're eating yeah, in the car, we're eating in front of the TV, <laughs> right. we're running, yep. running, running, yep. we don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, you know, it's. It's a multitude of things. Sure. So, in a way, integrative and functional medicine, it's more a lifestyle. It's not necessarily a diet, and it's not necessarily a medication. It's a way of learning how to deal and manage with your stress and with disease process through a more natural form. Yes, yes. Yeah, you have to address everything, even down to what chemicals you're putting on your body you sure. know what's in your shampoo what are you washing your clothes with what are you cleaning your house with sure sure are you sleeping <laughs> you know are you sitting in front of a cell phone or a tv uh, <laughs> at night screwing up your melatonin levels i mean it's you know and even just you know relationships mm, yeah yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> it's everything it's yeah. everything so that's why I like functional medicine. It's because, again, it's a holistic approach. You're looking at the whole person, mind, body, soul. And that's why I love you. You do yoga. You practice functional medicine here. Yeah. You really integrate what you practice into your life. Yeah. And you lead by great example. And that's why I'm a huge fan of yours. And I, and I love you so much. I do. I do. I love, I love this woman. She has really taught me a lot about functional medicine. I made him and, give up um, milk. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and, and gluten and yeah. uh, a couple other things. She's taught me a lot about food sensitivities, uh, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, and ways to combat that and to find healing from those things. So that's what I would, I kind of work with Dr. Sherry in that way as a health coach. Um, she will give the plan, but that plan has to be put into action, and that's a lifestyle plan. So a lot of doctors in this functional medical field are using health coaches. Yeah, most most of them use health coaches and uh, health coaching is probably the wave of the future. Um, you know, doctors don't really have time to, um, you know, you have to sit down and figure out what's most important to people's lives and we're asking them to make huge changes. You mm -hmm. know, our, it's hard for them to change what they're eating and, and it's yeah. hard for them to manage stress. Um, they don't know any other way. and. Mm -hmm. You know, we're surrounded by bad food everywhere. You know, it seems like every day there's a party going on mm -hmm. or something going on at work. Yep. And, you know, there's so it's hard. You It takes planning. And so sometimes people need a coach to help. And people don't know what to eat. You know, right. They just don't know. They're, exactly. So that's a, that's a huge point because I take clients grocery shopping 
for right. example, because they have people don't know, and that's okay that they don't know. Right. But once you know, that's when really things start to change. Or they think they're eating things that are healthy, and they don't realize right. that they're really not healthy. Right. We just had a comment on our post. I thought I was eating healthy until I went grocery shopping with Aaron. <laughs> 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 so yeah, that's that's absolutely uh, a lot of truth to that. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Sherry has a giveaway today, guys. And if you share this video, first you have to like our page, like Dr. Sherry's page at the Honest Wellness Center, and share this video. You're going to be entered into a drawing, and what are they going to win? Okay, so we're going to give three people a chance to win three an Omega-3 Index. Um, you have good fats and bad fats. The bad fats are Omega-6s, and those are in processed foods. So if you eat you know, crackers or anything fried or potato chips, those are Omega-6s, and they're very, very inflammatory. Mm -hmm. Um, and omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, and those we get from nuts, seeds, fish, um, you know, olives. Eggs, free-range eggs even. Yeah, there's yeah. probably a little bit in there. Um, so you really should have more omega-3s than omega-6s, and most Americans have 26 omega-6s to one omega-3. So this mm. is a little index to see how healthy your cells are. Um, your omega-3 uh, index tells me how healthy your cell wall is, and you know every cell in your body has fat in it in the cell wall and so we're giving away three of these wow that's awesome because that's a sixty dollar value for each one of those so that is amazing and i'll even and interpret it and send you an email hey look at that so you get an interpretation which is worth thousands that's that's you know priceless that's priceless it really is it really is so please guys do something for your health share this video like Howard Health Quarters, like Honest Wellness Center on Facebook, and share this video to be entered into the drawing to win this Omega-3 Index. And then on Monday night at 8 o'clock, we will be going live for a drawing, and maybe, hopefully, Dr. Sherry will be with us. So we hope to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. Health Coach Aaron R.N., Dr. Sherry Brewer, we thank you all, and we'll see you next time.